So anyway, unless a person doesn't really um, have the awareness to to find out for themselves if this is the right time for them to have the opportunity to get out of these psych realms into the real universes where there's real freedom and real love forever, then I guess it, you just we just have to keep coming back until um, maybe we have the opportunity again someday. I'll mention one more little bit about belief, faith, and hope. These three are the trinity of the rep systems. The rep systems are the religious, educational, and political systems on earth called rep systems who have established these ideas firmly in the subconscious of their followers for lifetimes. They only apply to the first three levels of life and do not exist in the real universes where there is only real truth and real freedom. The all is. The Adventure Is series by Duane the Great Writer has nine books. New book one is From Then to Now. New book two, A Journey to Real Freedom. New book three, The Real Far Country. New book four, The Adventures of Rebus Artars. New book five, The New Wave Is, The Real Rod of Purity. New book six, Your Dream Visions. New book seven, Rebus Artars and the Golden Guides. New book eight, Blue Sky Island. Um, there's a new book, 9-2, I think it's called The Truth About Ekinkar, which is an outer organization on Earth that um, was started by Paul Twitchell and then went through a couple of fellows that decided that they were something special and, and changed what he had uh, created into another one of the religions of the Earth because of the influence on the person that's um, the head of that corporation right now being uh, another God worshiper and that actually the God that he's worshiping is a reptilian named Grog. So it's just an attempt to share with others um, being a trying to be a useful instrument for life. And just to let you know that, that that you can get a hold of the new presentation at www.dwainthegreatwriter.info or you can find it on the Facebook or the YouTube or <coughs> The other tech stuff, Wonderful Worldwide Educators, or is it www.wonderfulworldwideeducators.com? Is there anything anybody else might want to mention today? Yes, Tim. Yeah, go ahead, Val. Realistically, not everybody's going to get this or have the opportunity to get it because it's just not time for them. If you just look at it, the way the human consciousness throughout history has progressed, uh, now, is the, now is a window for those that have come to a certain point. Now, there's a, I'm in friendship with some people in, in the corporation or what is called Ekinkar and one of the fellows there is, is really into Rumi. Rumi was one of the former guides, the real guides. He wrote a lot of poetry, a lot of, uh, lot of writings. And this fellow actually wrote a book on the interpretation of what Rumi wrote, his interpretation of it. He really went into, into the writings, the seconds. But Rumi was 
speaking to the consciousness of the time, the people that of his time. So this Eckist is caught caught back there, even though Rumi was a real guide and he he expressed certain things. It was for that time and that consciousness. So this Eckist is back there trying to figure out what was going on there when what is going on now is a lot different. And then, so it, I would say it's somewhat confusing for this, this fellow because his references are old references and they're dated. So this is one of the things that happens Especially now, it's a huge jump for people to get to what we're presenting to what was and how things were presented. So it really is like a, it's for people that are at a certain certain stage, a certain position, and then, then wanting to, to see what else is possible or because it's just not not for everybody, I would say. It is, but they'd have to, you know, there's a certain preparation that has to be made. And the real guides do see people on the real side, and they do uh, introduce this to them first on the real side, and then they, then they have the opportunity to show up in the physical here with us. Somehow they'll be led to us, and they will have the opportunity. And... So a lot of people have been introduced to what we're doing, what we're presenting, but it's it's still their choice, like we discussed in the beginning. It's the person's choice to decide to take that step into something that may be awkward for them or unknown to them. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Yeah, thanks again, Val. Yeah. We know that in this physical, it seems like life it makes it so that all the flowers in the garden don't bloom at the same time. So I guess that I don't know how until a person is ready and gone through enough experiences um, to to be at a point to recognize the difference between what is real and, and what isn't. Um, it, it seems like how would anybody be able to awaken everybody? Um, it does seem like that all it is is for certain ones that are at a certain point of um, awareness. There's so much to um, experience in this adventure we're all on. And we see this world with wars and disease and all kinds of what we'd call terrible things going on, murders and starvation. And here we're living in a world where a lot of people are becoming aware that we're being affected by others. They're poisoning the air, they're poisoning the water, they're poisoning the food. It's right in front of all of us, but who's really paying attention or who cares? It's um, it's about the way it is for the masses on earth here thinking that um, there's some God and that uh, you got to think the same way that, that, that their God tells them to think or that you're some kind of enemy. Um, in this physical realm, and so this goes on and on, and that the actually the authoritarians, the brutalitarians love this stuff, or I guess you could call it love. They enjoy human suffering and and going through all kinds of um, real rough experiences, whatever they get out of it, off this our emotions or. And then we're getting into these things called attachments or tap lines and how um, a person is being affected by these other beings while we sleep at night or 
Um, it's things to find out for yourself about what is affecting each of us. And the real guides and the real guidance is being offered so that we can become aware of what's real and and how to have a life that has things that we can't even imagine that are so wonderful. I don't know if anybody else has anything they'd like to mention today. I see there's someone with a one 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 been listening. If you have any questions or um would like to mention anything. Well Tim, this is Bob. You I got one more comment if if you got time yeah, for it. Great. Sure. Well, let, let me let me throw a paradox out to people that might be listening. One of the most interesting paradoxes um, in in America, anyway, is you have this group of people that are Bible fundamentalists, and they are very very patriotic people. I mean, they will they believe in dying for the United, dying for their country, and they and and they believe that they're free in the United States. Well, these people believe that the Bible is the word of God and it's absolutely true. And they also believe that the United States broke away from England and every 4th of July they celebrate their freedom of breaking away from England. And and so um, you you have, here's the paradox. The paradox is that um, they believe they're free from England, yet their Bible teaches that we're still under the rule of the queen. The Bible says that. And I don't know if you heard my blog talk radio show from, I don't know, a month or two ago. It was about the United States and Britain and prophecy and for those people that never heard of it, there was a gentleman named Herbert W. Armstrong that wrote a book called The United States and Britain in Prophecy, where he shows that in the end times, the prophecies of the end times would be that America would be Israel. And the brother... Um, would be England, but the rulership would still, the rulership of the United States and America would both be ruled by the Queen of England. That's right in the Bible, and if you don't believe me, uh, you can download his book for free. Just go on the Internet, download Herbert W. Armstrong's book, United States and Britain in Prophecy, and you can see for yourself that it's impossible to believe the Bible and believe that you're free in the United States. And I will even go on to further say that if you think you're free in America, the reason why you think you're free is because you've been brainwashed into believing you're free. But you're not free. If you if you uh, own a home, you pay property tax. If, if you And the reason why you pay, pay property tax is because you do not own the property that you think you own. The Crown of England owns it, and when you pay property tax, you're actually paying rent on their property. If you own a vehicle and register it, if you have a car and you get a license and pay the fees, you do not own your vehicle. The state owns it, and ultimately the Crown in England owns it. And you pay income taxes for your labor. That's, that's not free. And you probably have a heat and light bill that you pay. You should be getting free energy, but the government blocks free energy from being available to citizens of America. And whenever somebody comes up with a design to give people the freedom, they murder the people and keep that new technology a secret. So if you think you're free in America, you really are not. But when Dwayne the Great Writer talks about freedom, we're talking about real freedom. And so... Real freedom is really freedom. It means no taxes, no bills, no heat bills, no light bills, none of this stuff. And so I just wanted to share that with everybody. Thank you, Tim. Yeah, thanks again, Bob. 
Yeah, you were talking about the religions. I'll read a little bit more from the Your Dream Visions book and of the Adventure Is series by Dwayne the Great Writer. And the subconscious, which is the etheric body of the five bodies we have here in the psych realms in creation, will sometimes take the wish or desire of a person and store it away. This is where the idea of prayer comes into play. When people pray, they are really praying to themselves to have something in their lives fulfilled. The church has taught people it is the gods of man, and it can be so if they are willing, but for the most part, it is each person doing unto themselves. The idea of positive thinking is in the same realm as the unconscious, as it will manifest the creation of a person according to their acceptability and awareness as to how to realize it in their lives. Some things come to pe some people very easily, while others struggle. Again, it is all about the consciousness of the person and their relationship mainly with themselves. When a person is the new student of the real guides, they, then they are given the best assistance to fulfill their desires if what they are deciding is along the lines of providing a real benefit to themselves and possibly others. The real guides are aware of the fact this world is the real dream and at the same time will work with those who are productively creative to assist in fulfilling a natural means of survival here until one can become self-sufficient on all levels. The round worlds are the infancy stage of development for the U-Tune, but it is here we learn so much as we have the real guidance to surpass all the Maya of the dual forces. So there's so much that we don't know that's really happening. It's right in our faces and we don't seem to have the eyes, the masses of the beings in, on these, in these round worlds in creation. We're, there's so much more than um, anyone can ever imagine about life. We look out here in the physical and we see the stars and things and you try to think of something like they, that goes on forever in all directions and there's no end. Um, but actually, that's all in this thing called creation or in the psych realms, the physical stuff, so that we hardly have an idea of what it's like until the real guides um, take us into these other universes, out of these psych realms, out of these different um, whatever you want to call them, levels or worlds or places um, to see what it's like to have real freedom and real love. Anyway, we're, we've kind of tried to share quite a bit about this new presentation and and the opportunity being offered by real guides. Um, experiences and if there's anybody else that would like to mention anything we still have 30 minutes that we could use otherwise I guess we could end this show with singing the um, new you 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 song to share that with others and they can test it for themselves and get a hold of the new books and find out for themselves if it's something that's for them in this lifetime. 
I'll start with new you, you, you. Val, would you like to sing the new you? Or Bob, can you hear me? Would you like to sing the new you? Yes. New you, 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 you. Is there anybody else that would like to sing the new you? All right, then. I hope that somebody, well, I shouldn't say hope. But anyway, I try. We've been trying to share the new presentation, so you can check it out on the Facebook and YouTube, Kelsey Lynn Brown and Val V. Tolls and Eric Oak and Henry Draper. Anyway, find out for yourself what it's all about. See ya. <laughs>